Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a love reading, an important love message for you guys. And it's gonna be aimed at my lovely single people. So if you are in a relationship, you, you are welcome to watch this, but this is gonna be for my lovely single people. And we're gonna see what's coming next for you in love and what important messages want to come out for you guys. So I'm gonna put the crystal cards on and if you want any extra time, please pause the video. All time stamps will be down below. So let's get started. Okay, we have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So please choose your group now, and let's get started with your love message. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading, and let's see what's going on for you guys in love, my lovely singles, okay? So the first card out we have is Lemurian Quartz. So this says, anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts, Whenever someone or something you love needs a zap of healing energy, awaken your inner wizard or witch and cast a spell with Lemurian Quartz. Escape your mind. Okay, so you guys are really overthinking love. I feel like you guys are really struggling with your love life in terms of like, okay, is my person going to come in? Am I going to manifest them? Is it going to be here for me? All that jazz. And I feel like it's just been really, really stressful for you. I feel like it's just something that you've had to really kind of hold on to in terms of like, I don't know if this is going to manifest, I don't know if this is going to work, but I feel like for you guys, it's having more positivity around your love life, I feel is what you're kind of creating in this energy, okay? So let's see what other cards we have out. We have heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I love that, that's beautiful. Let's put this guy over here. Okay, beautiful heart to heart conversation. So there is definitely a conversation to be had that's going to be with somebody. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be with somebody that you really, really like in terms of a friend. It could be some sort of family member, you know, that all that kind of jazz. But we'll see kind of what wants to come up as well. Okay, so let's put these two up here. So we have shimmer, glamour, confidence, allure and charisma. I love that. That's really beautiful. And the next card out we have is Merlin. So I love that. So the fact that we have the Merlin and we also have Lemurian Quartz, which said about casting a spell, there's definitely a lot of magical energy around you. I feel like Harry Potter is going to be like a really big synchronicity for you. Anything that's to do with magic and things like that, I feel like is like a really big synchronicity for you. And I feel like just watch out for that. And maybe the person that you're going to, that's coming towards you is somebody who re is very, very spiritual, very, very open to magic and things like that and it's very very kind of like yeah spiritual and could be a teacher or a mentor is somebody who you're going to attract who's going to be your person and then with this shimmer confidence I feel like you guys are working on your confidence you're working on I feel like spicing up your life a bit possibly um, buying some new makeup really working on your beauty element really work on your venus as well so whatever your venus is I feel like this is something you're really really working on in whatever way that is to so say if it's like libra Venus, you're working on like um, possibly codependency and really working on releasing that. If it's like Taurus Venus, you're really working on stability, you know, all that jazz. Okay, so next card out we have is the Zebra Stone, Compassion. We then have Rabbit, Sensitive Soul. My hands feel really shaky. It's very strange. We then have Jupiter, Waxing Crescent. And we also have Saturn. So really big energy for you guys. You guys are actually really releasing like a really big um, energy, like a really big, okay, what's the word? Give me a journey, like a really big karma cycle. Um, let's have a look at the waxing crescent. Let's see what that says here. So it says setting intentions, planting a seed for what you want to accomplish during this cycle. So for you guys, you're kind of on the verge of manifesting something new. I feel like you're really, really working on that new energy that you want to create. And you guys are really, really sensitive. So you guys can really take on a lot of people's energies that have really affected you. So you've got to really be careful about who you hang out with, who you bring your attention to and who you really spend your energy with because the person that you're going to be with is going to be somebody who really honors your soul. And if you have other people around you that aren't honoring your soul, you're going to, you're going to take on that energy and it's going to be really bad for you. So I feel like having compassion for yourself is going to be really good. And as I say, we are working on stability here. So we're working on getting grounded. And I feel like for you in love, the fact that we have the Jupiter card and we also have Saturn, 
is showing me that you guys are really coming into a new karmic cycle. So whatever has been going wrong for you in terms of love, this is going to start to be renewed. And I feel like you guys need to have a heart to heart conversation with somebody. This could be somebody in your life already, or it's going to be somebody who's going to come in that's going to bring in a lot of newness. So it could be somebody new. So it could be somebody who is already in your life that you need to have a long heart to heart conversation. They're saying, look at the back of this card. Okay, one second guys. I'm just seeing what spirit wants me to look at. Okay, so they're saying here, it says Lemurians are like wands, pointing them at any body parts, friends, and other crystals that need more juice. I feel like you're gonna help somebody in love. I feel like you're gonna help a friend or something. I feel like you're quite a, a big, um, a, a large healer. So I feel like for you guys, this is really working on healing others. And I think the more you heal others, the more you give time up for other people, the more you're gonna manifest this for yourself. And I feel like when it says Lemurians are like one to point them at any body parts, it could be, you could be getting pain in your leg or your hip or your wrist. And that could be an indicator that things are shifting energetically for you in your love life. I know it probably seems like it's not even related, but everything is connected in some way. And even like your knees can mean stability, your, when you have pain in your neck or your shoulders, it can mean that you're worried about what's going on in, on in the future, or you're worried about what happened in the past and you're putting all that pressure on yourself. So it can be like just making sure you're really looking after your body. And I feel like for you guys, you're gonna have somebody who's gonna really like the way for you. And this person could come in when you have a really big shift of of work or career change and the three three is all about communication it's all about um kind of the third house which is to do with the mind communication siblings social activity early education and also it could it could be to do with creativity as well so you could meet this person through create something creative but I definitely feel like for you guys, you're really needing to shift something out. So I feel like for this group, there could be somebody quite toxic in your life because it says strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. So it could mean somebody just needs to kind of come out of your life and just need to cut them out altogether. This Saturn is kind of making me realize that someone needs to be cut out because Saturn is like the old grandpa of, of the planets. He's the guy that kind of gets all the children in order, children being all the other planets. So I feel like this Saturn guy is kind of like, okay, this time is up with this person. You need to kind of shift away from them. And this is obviously if they're negative and they're kind of causing you grief. If they're somebody really great, <laughs> that's not who I'm talking about, okay? And oh yeah, I really feel like this is very, very positive. You just have compassion for yourself because I feel like you guys are kind of struggling a little bit. Um, but you could meet a teacher as well. You could meet, so you could be a teacher and you can meet somebody else who's a teacher. I'm hearing you could be a nurse and you can meet somebody else who's like a doctor or another nurse or something like that. It feels like within your career is how you're going to meet your person. All right, so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what wants to come out for you guys. Okay, so group number one in their love life, please. Oops. Okay, first card out is the five of pentacles. Okay, so you guys are becoming more driven. You are manifesting much more physical elements in your love life, I feel. The emperor here is showing me that you guys are really standing tall in your love life and you're not putting up with any kind of crap. But I feel like you, some of you guys are really stuck in this kind of old way of feeling like the victim or feeling like you can't get out of a certain situation with somebody. So if you're in a toxic relationship, this is I feel like this is showing up very strongly in the reading. So when I say relationship, I don't genuinely mean a love relationship. It could, it could be to do with love. It could be like an ex or an old friend, but it feels like this person's taking a lot of your time up and you need to release this person if they're kind of not doing you any good, okay? Let's bring out one more tarot card. Okay, so things are moving for you guys. Things are definitely moving. It's just a matter of time. And I think it's a matter of um, what you need to learn from this person that you're around. If, the, if you have nobody around and you're like, Ricky, I've let go of most people in my life now or everyone, then expect somebody new to come in. Expect a possible earth sign or a possible fire sign to come in because you have stability here, especially with you, the way you speak. You are becoming much more able to just really express yourself and really acknowledge what it is that you want out of your love life. And I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, it's showing me somebody in some sort of power is gonna come into your life. And it definitely feels like it's to do with work. I feel like it's somebody who's who sees you really being in your power. And then this person is very, very attracted to you. And it could be to do with work. It could be that I'm hearing that this person, though I'm tasting coconut milk in my mouth, that's really random. 
That's very random. Um, I haven't actually had coconut milk today, so that is very random. It's definitely something psychic. That's not something physical. So, okay, so you could be like drinking coconut milk or coffee with coconut milk in when you meet this person or something. It could be significant in some way. Uh, changing your diet. I don't know, maybe going on an all coconut diet. I don't know, that's probably not very healthy, but... <laughs> Um, there's something else here. What was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, so because you're coming into your power, you're releasing um, feeling like a victim or feeling like you cannot control the situation, releasing that, becoming more in your power, and then you're manifesting men or um, your people who you're attracted to, men or women, whoever, um, a strong figure in your life who's going to see you in work and is going to connect with you on a love basis. It's going to be a more of a friendship or career basis first. Um, and then it's gonna turn into love. And I feel like because we have the chariot, it's like massive amount of just movement, like quickening energy. And the three of pentacles is showing me that there is definitely an energy of kind of seeing you in work. And I feel like this could be an interviewer who actually really likes you. And obviously they're not gonna hire you just because they find you attractive, but that is one of the reasons, okay? Because they do have this very strong connection with you <clears throat> that could help you get the job as well. Okay, let's get you another love message. Okay, healing family issues. Your love life begins as you forgive your parents. Interesting. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are, are real and worth exploring. Yeah, this person, I feel like you might be debating on if this is the right thing, but it definitely is. And you guys could be really healing your family issues right now. And then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your love life. So if you feel like nothing is working or nothing is coming in, things are definitely moving for you. And I'm really getting drawn to say the word new moon. So I feel like around a new moon could be a very good time for you to manifest this person, okay? So thank you so much for watching group one. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. This is what is coming forward to you in your love life. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you would like to look at my crystal shop, I have some lovely new crystals in my shop. So please have a look in there. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So for this one, we have Rose Quartz, which is obviously to do with love. So that's really, really good. I love that. So the overly critical, sentient spiritual beings who love deeply, those in the healing arts or those who want to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you guys could be really working on your throat chakra as well. So when to use it, when you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out, to work the hardest, to hold it all together for everyone else. Rose Quartz gives us a pink cashmere covered platform to be soft, sweet and open to spirit. Take care of your heart. So you guys are really working on your heart chakra. You're working on opening up to unconditional love. And I feel like this is the change. I feel like I'm hearing a change is coming. A change is happening for you, especially in your emotional state. I feel like your emotional state is really, really, really shifting. Okay. Oops, I've got some glitter on my table. <laughs> Okay, so first thing out is we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So for you guys, you could have already met them. For a lot of you guys, I don't feel like you have because this is a singles reading. So this is showing me that when this person does come in, if you haven't met them already, it's showing me that it's confirming that this is the one. Okay, you might be debating when you first meet them, like, no, this is definitely not the one. I am feeling very insecure around them or something like that. It could be that you just feel a little bit insecure and just uncomfortable, but be aware that this is going to be the right one for you, okay? We then have scared to fly. Yeah, exactly. You guys are, are kind of nervous about your love life. You're kind of nervous about things changing for you. And because possibly you've been single for quite a, lot, a long time or quite a while, it's, it's going to be hard for you to kind of come out from that single energy to being in a relationship, which obviously is, can be quite a difficult shift for you. So just be aware that things are changing for you. And it says the right moment, sensing out the right timing. So for you guys, you could have could meet someone very, very soon. It could be within the next uh, even nine days, uh, one week, eight weeks. And we've got the eight, number 18. And I'm really looking at that number. So for you guys, this is basically showing me that you guys are really struggling to figure out, okay, is this the right thing? Should I do this relationship? Should I carry this on? Just be really kind to yourself and kind of understand that when this person does come in, it will be at the right timing. So you won't have to worry about 
things really shifting for you or things kind of going bad. You just need to worry about yourself and how you're feeling in this relationship. And if you feel like it's the right thing, it's the right thing, okay? But trust me that this is going to be, com this is confirmation here that when you do meet your person, this is the right one. And you'll know, you'll know intuitively, you'll feel safe with them. Okay, so we have citrine, abundance and creativity. So you're going to meet your person through um, working on your creativity and that's going to create abundance. So citrine is really good financially. It's a very good financial, financially abundant crystal. I actually have citrine in one of my crystal, in one of my crystal kits on my website and the link down below, the link is down below by the way, if you guys want to check that out. This is a really powerful crystal. It's kind of overlooked as a financial crystal a lot but actually it has very strong financial properties so for you guys you could meet this person when you're really financially well off or when you're when your finances start kicking up a notch um but also when you start to remind yourself of how creative you are and and find your creative outlet and everyone is creative in a different way so don't beat yourself up if you don't think you're very creative everyone's creative in a different way whether it's like reading whether it's exercising whether it's you know kind of writing or journaling it's going to be different for everybody but just know that this is kind of I'm hearing the light is shining out of your bum which I know sounds very strange but it's showing me that you have so much potential you need to actually really look at yourself and think I am an amazing human being and people are going to start to see how amazing you are because you're believing that yourself and I feel like this is a lot to do with confidence as well so you guys can be very sensitive sensitive beings always putting other people before yourself Okay, so protection, panther, consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely, exactly. So you guys just need to have more confidence in yourself. And, and also when you are nervous about if this is the right person, just trust yourself, you know, just really tune in and think, is this person really serving me? Is this somebody I want to keep in my life? And if the answer is yes, then freaking go for it. Because I feel like you guys are kind of scared to take the leap of faith in something. It could be in love, but it could also be in career or a project or talking to somebody. It could be all those things. So if you're scared of kind of leaping forward, just know that this is the right thing. And I felt like a sudden wave of happiness. So I think this this citrine is all about happiness. I always associate citrine as my happy crystal, um, along with aura quartz, because it's so pretty. Um, but citrine is really, really good for happiness. It's really good if you feel sad, if you're really struggling with anger or depression. Very, very good for that. So massive amount of shifts for you guys. I'm also seeing some of you guys are dancers. That's what I'm seeing. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. So we have the new moon. We have Libra, we then have Ambition, Neptune, and Value. I love that, that's really beautiful. Okay, so as I say, definitely gonna meet this person when, you're, when your money begins to kind of pick up. And New Moon always represents beginning, setting a clean slate, gathering your thoughts and planning. So this is what you're doing, is you're gathering your thoughts and planning towards the future. So you might be planning on creating some sort of project, planning on moving out with your house, planning on moving to a different country, planning on kind of just shifting your energy in some way, whether it's physically or mentally, and you're starting to get more balanced. And I feel like it's definitely a, a journey of, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing emotional healing, but also you're going towards a job that's much more emotionally valuable for you. And also, if it's not a certain job, it could be a project that you want to bring out, but you're kind of struggling to get the motivation to do it or have the confidence. And just know that it's your move. You know, you've got to make the move. And ambition's also showing me this is the 10th house, which is all about work. It's about career and your drive and things like that. So you are a powerhouse. The person you're manifesting is also a powerhouse. You are manifesting somebody who is really, really driven and is most likely a water sign I'm picking up. Somebody who is very, very strong-minded, somebody who really wants to have your attention and somebody who has worked on their emotions a lot as well, especially those of you who are manifesting a masculine, they really have worked on their emotions. But this person also, if you're not wanting to manifest a masculine, it's just somebody who's worked on their masculine energy and they're really learning to, to understand that their emotions are very important and it's important to really work on that, okay? So... Those are your oracle cards. Let's get some tarot for you guys and let's see what's coming towards you in your love life. Okay, first card out is the Six of Swords. Wow, that's a massive change. Pretty much similar to group number one where they had I think the Five of Pentacles. It's very much to do with kind of sadness and upset. Reverse or upright? Upright, okay. Reverse or upright, reverse. Beautiful. 
wow my throat is really hurting around this area i feel like you guys have really learned to just speak your truth things that yes ace of swords yes definitely you guys have really learned to open your throat chakra and it's it's serving you well but it's also creating a lot more drama than probably what you thought because actually it's kind of opened up a can of worms but it's because your energy is shifting and you're needing to adapt to new situations so when we start speaking our truth all of a sudden people can actually get a bit scared because they're like well you used to be kind of like compliant and now you're not but actually it's because you were kind of doing what other people wanted you to do and not really being your authentic self and people were starting to kind of question if that's something that you know was you but actually being compliant and having to do what other people want you to do is not being your authentic self so you guys are definitely going through a massive death process massive amount of change for you guys and really shifting your perspective around who you are okay so here is showing me that you're moving away from something and feeling much lighter you feel you're moving away from kind of I'm hearing just compliance and rules and regulations and having to do things in a certain way. You're just like, I'm just gonna do this as I want to and I'm not gonna feel the control anymore. And I'm hearing I'm not gonna feel the control, like F-I-L-L, -L, like fill up the control. I'm gonna constantly just be who I am and remind myself that I am enough. And the Knight of Swords is showing me that you guys could be meeting somebody who suddenly comes in and almost like freaks you out because it's like, I'm not sure what to do about this. You could also get a message from an ex or somebody I'm hearing. Um, but I don't, I think it's going to like push you forward more. It's going to be like drive, dri it's going to drive you more. I feel like for you guys, this is somebody who is going to be very driven. They have a lot of, um, attention on them. I feel like they're quite popular. They could also be a boss or somebody who's quite high up in a company. They have their own company possibly. This is going to be somebody who really meets your needs, um, emotionally, physically, mentally. And the Ace of Swords is showing me that this person's going to be like, boom, and like, completely go towards you straight away and really really connect to you on a beautiful level it's kind of like i see you i hear you this is what's going to happen and i'm hearing in about five months i'm also getting around october time that this is going to resonate for you guys i feel and it just feels very strong it feels like a very powerful energy and the ace of swords showing me there's massive fire behind your voice so you're possibly doing more speaking with people you not normally talk to maybe you're doing more presentations or something where your voice is being heard more and it's reaching more people i see that definitely so they're showing me to pull an animal card so that's what we're going to do i'm going to see how you're showing up in this situation wow that is that death energy right there absolutely beautiful let's put this guy here because i keep moving all the cards okay so wow <laughs> um you guys are no longer the person you used to be and i'm hearing people are just gonna have to get used to it which is perfect that's exactly what you want and we also have the cobra which very scorpionic energy so you could be a scorpio doesn't have to be though um i'm actually hearing like a beetle as well like a scarab beetle i feel that's quite a big synchronicity so look up the scarab beetle in egyptian uh in from egyptian times as well so rebirth and coming out of a massive change like coming out of the chrysalis and really being reborn i know this isn't a butterfly but it's kind of a similar energy yep worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so i know you've probably been waiting a bit longer than what you want to but this is definitely worth waiting for okay last cut out oh beautiful and true love i love that. i was actually gonna say new love but it's true love this is the romance of a friggin' lifetime, girl. Yes, queen. That's what I want to see. And then we also have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So this is a really good message for you. I feel like for you guys, it's important to let your friends help you in your, in your love life and also just to talk to them. If you're feeling stuck, just give them a little chat and, and ask them for help. And don't be scared of, of being vulnerable in this relationship because I feel like this is absolutely beautiful. This is this is a new you. A new you is coming in. The new you is starting to be reborn. And it's almost like you're trying out this new person with, with this partnership. And it's very, very beautiful. So absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And 
I'm also picking up a lot of Harry Potter energy. This is the same for the group number one. I don't know what's going on with the Harry Potter energy, but I'm really picking up on that. I'm seeing like the Phoenix from Harry Potter. So that could be quite a strong synchronicity. I feel like one of you is, I'm hearing one of you talking about your Harry Potter house. So yeah, a lot of Harry Potter energy I'm feeling for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to check out my crystal shop, that is down below as well. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Hello group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So the crystal you got is Herkima Diamond, which is a very strong crystal for getting space around your energy, giving you a nice clear vision around something. And this is also a really good crystal for getting clear with your guides, getting clear with what you want. And also just clearing your head because I feel like a lot of the time we can forget how fuzzy headed we can feel and it's really important to get some meditation in there as well it's going to really help you in your love life and kind of just help you take the stress off of kind of wanting somebody or you know and that's not wrong to want somebody I think sometimes we just need to really zone zone out and kind of think oh it will happen when it's meant to happen okay so first card out we have is past life relationship beautiful so you have known each other before. The person that you're going to attract is somebody who is really, really important in your life. I'm hearing just a really important person in your life. They're going to really change up the cycle that you're going to be on soon. And I feel like this person is going to come in really suddenly. For you guys, I'm actually hearing it could be around two months. For you guys as well, two months, I feel. All right. Oh, we have the number three. So you guys are actually group number three. So that's a very big synchronicity. You could have life path number three as well. Riddle Fisher, divination, seeking out and finding answers. So for you guys, it's kind of not rushing the situation because I feel like a lot of you guys think, okay, if I do this, then this will attract my love. If I do this, then this will attract my love. But sometimes, yeah, those things work and manifestation is amazing, but sometimes it literally is just divine timing. And sometimes we literally have to learn things so we can get on the path to meeting our person because we can't change, we can't have change unless we change, okay? And you have the key. We have this woman holding a key, so you have the key. And emotions are coming out. If you feel like emotions are really kind of, you're feeling very teary or very angry, just let them flow as much as possible. And if you need some extra help with this, I have a video on how to let your emotions flow. It's very, very easy, very helpful. It actually helps manifest stuff quicker because there's no blockages. So I'll link that down below as well. It's called 20 second mantra or something it's a 20 second mantra it's very very quick and easy okay next card out we have is the lion honor your soul and celebrate its journey yes yeah, so for you guys you could just be focusing too much on the past or too much on the future in the sense that you're not actually appreciating what you've got right now and also just recognize that you are very very important okay if you were not meant to be here that if then okay what is what is the quote that i'm feeling it's like if you're not meant to be here, you wouldn't be here. Yeah, it's kind of like our souls are very, very sensitive and our bodies are like, we can easily exit our body like that. So if you're if you're here right now watching this video, you are meant to be here, okay? You are definitely meant to be here and don't ever doubt that you are not meant to be here, okay? So we have tourmaline and we also have malachite. So you guys have got two very intense crystals. These two are kind of reminding me of really getting out into nature because I feel like you need to really smudge your energy a lot especially with all the intense energies that's going on right now a lot of people are being affected by that there's going to be a lot of anger coming up a lot of stress a lot of anxiety a lot of control issues all of that stuff's going to start coming up so you need to get clear on your boundaries especially being around young children or a, a possibly somebody in your house who isn't leaving you alone or something or something like that you just really need to make sure you're getting enough time away for yourself because there's going to be a lot of anger that's possibly going to come up because it's meant to come up so you can heal it and the malachite energy is showing me that nature is going to be really really healing for you and it's all about it's going to it's actually going to help you open up your heart chakra so that is really good for you okay i really am connected to the number three so it could be three months that you meet your person as well okay so you could be meeting a sagittarius we also have venus lovely so you could actually have sagittarius venus as well and we have first quarter. So you want to start to see manifestations coming in very, very soon. I, I'm hearing, okay, this is extremely random, but I'm seeing a spider and I'm also seeing an old woman. And I feel like they're showing me the old woman who ate a fly and a rhyme thing. I don't know what, how does this go? Um, I don't know what it is called, but you, some of you guys will know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like 
I don't know why I ate a fly or something. Very strange. And it's kind of, what they're showing me is it's kind of like going around in circles and doing the exact same thing and, and wanting different results. So what I feel like there's definitely having more conscious awareness you're having around what you're doing now, especially with your emotions. You're really figuring out, okay, what is good for me? What, what can I put in my body that's healthy? And also you're just being very patient. I feel like you guys have, have waited a long time for your person. And especially those of you who've been really consciously working on your possibly uh, toxic traits. And I know I don't want to sound like I'm being nasty or anything. We all have toxic traits on in some level. Part of us will kind of be working from our ego. So if we get angry at somebody without really saying sorry or if we kind of lash out or if we do things and we keep repeating the same cycle we're not being very conscious of our energy and I feel like you guys are definitely becoming more conscious of your energy and you're really learning to push forward and I feel like you guys are pushing through any obstacles because that's what the first quarter is all about it's about pushing through obstacles so you are manifesting somebody who's ready to come in and I feel like this is somebody who's very open very natural in terms of their energy, they're very, very natural. They want the best for you. They're into nature. They love spirituality. I feel like it's somebody who's very emotionally aware. And for some reason, I'm hearing about the eyelashes. Like, they like your eyelashes. They like your your face, your eyes. They love your skin as well. I feel like you guys have very nice skin. Um, and I feel like this person really, really likes that. And even if you don't like your skin right now, this person will just love you for who you are. And that's, that's the best type of relationship. Someone who just really appreciates you for who you are. So that's absolutely beautiful. Okay. So next cards, let's get some tarot and let's see what's happening for you guys in your love life. Perfect absolutely perfect that really resonates with the things that I was saying about kind of balancing your who you are in your love life and what it is that you need I feel like the world's going to come out I'm seeing like two worlds I'm hearing like worlds colliding as well like two worlds coming together perfect yep this is somebody new I'm getting really strong Pisces energy from this person I'm hearing Peter Pan I'm getting a lot of nursery rhymes from this group and I don't know why ah that could be why because of the kid energy the childlike energy I'm hearing um Peter Piper Picter you know that that thing <laughs> that's what I'm hearing and yeah so you're manifesting something that's much more comfortable for you somebody who really honors your emotions and you're most likely going to have children with this person as well for you guys you have a much clearer path I feel like in love than the previous two groups not to say that the other two are going to like suffer and it's going to be awful but for some reason, I'm picking up on your person much more clearer. So you guys have been doing a lot of emotional healing, a lot of emotional work. I'm picking up on Claire's Accessories. There's a shop called Claire's Accessories in England. I think some of you guys have it in the US as well. Picking up on that. Wow, look at that power couple. They both have their sticks. Love that. We love, we love a man with a stick. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That was a channel message, guys. So we got some kinky, we got some kinky spirit guides. I mean, this is from me, so of course we're gonna have a little bit of a cheeky vibe going on. Some of you guys, you're gonna manifest a Taurus or an Aries, Capricorn energy. Okay, yes. Right. So you guys have really been working on yourself. You've really been working on honoring your feelings and protecting your energy. Really, really protecting your energy. Okay, so I'm hearing March is also good for you guys. Just take it as it resonates. It's going to fluctuate for everyone. It's going to be different for everybody. So really working on your needs. Okay, so we don't have the... Did I say we have the world? Was it the world? But we have the Wheel of Fortune. So that's kind of similar. Um, massive change in your love life. So your love life is, ne is not going to be like it was before. Um, you've been doing a lot of the healing work. You're really manifesting somebody who honours your emotions, who is not manipulative, not narcissistic. This person... I love how they come out as a knight of cups and then they turn into the king of cups. So what, what is this showing me? What, uh, what, why are they the knight of cups first? Because they haven't gotten to know you properly first. So that's why they're the knight of cups. And then they come in as the six of cups. So basically this person turns into a king of cups because you recognize that they're your partner. First of all, they don't, you don't see them because you're too busy working on yourself, which yes, girl, do it queen. And then... This person kind of comes in and I'm seeing a lot of fish. I'm kind of focusing on the fish. They have like eels on here and like a horse and then we've got like a fish. 
you guys are really seeing patterns in your life as well. You're seeing much more abundance come in and you're seeing a lot of like synchronicities. Things are kind of like weaving in and out. And we have a sunflower here. So sunflowers could be a very strong synchronicity for you. And I feel like for you guys around um, December time is going to be good for you too. This is a timeless reading. So just take it as it resonates. I'm also seeing Grease, uh, the film Grease and the musical. So that could be a synchronicity for some of you guys. Uh, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, I want to pull some more cards. Okay, let's get some more cards. Where do you want to go? Okay, so moving me towards my original tarot. So just bear with me a sec. It's just underneath my flowers. So if you can see them moving, that is me. So let's get you a couple more cards. Oh, look at that. Beautiful Queen of Pentacles. The Empress. We have that twice. I love that. Yeah, you guys are not taking any any crap from anyone now. Yeah, really ending an old cycle and kind of honouring yourself. Like if you don't want something, you say no to it. You're not being like, oh, maybe I should say yes because, you know, I don't want to be single anymore. Don't do that, guys. Yeah, beautiful. Somebody's a fire sign or a water sign I'm picking up on. Yep, the same card again, Six of Cups. I love that. That's absolutely beautiful. Massive amount of drive. And this person's really good with speech as well. If they don't like something, they'll say it. And that's why you're learning to do that as well. Okay, let's get you a couple more love cards. Let's see what wants to come out for you guys. These three? They're saying just those two. Okay. And underneath. Oh, I love that. True love. That is so cute. This is the romance of a lifetime. How cute is that? I love that, that's beautiful. So you guys, that's just clarification that this person's the right person. You might debate it. Some of you guys might actually meet them in a grocery sh grocery store. So where they just sell food, I love that. So we have give your relationship a chance and we also have flirt. So there may be a relationship you may think, oh, I don't know if this is the right person. I feel like some of you guys, it could be because you haven't had someone for quite a while and it's having to change your energy. Um, but have more fun with it. Don't take things too seriously. And life isn't meant to be serious, okay? That's a very strong message I'm getting. Like, life is not meant to be serious. It's meant to be fun. And sometimes it's not fun. <laughs> but it just means that you guys are really going to be connecting with somebody. I love the connection these two couples have. They're really, like, their faces are really close to each other. So I think for you guys, you're not going to be actually used to having that closeness and that kind of uh, sensuality and the touching of the skin and things like that. Maybe you're not used to that. So just be aware that, that is going to be something that's going to change for you guys and you're going to start to have more intimacy in your life and emotionally and physically and it's going to be very mature and, and vulnerable and just really healthy, just very healthy and mature. So I love how we got this, there's like a number six here. I don't know if that's on purpose but I always see this as number six and we have the six of cups. So that is beautiful. So thank you so much for watching guys. Um, also if you get acid reflux just know that that's your heart um chakra kind of changing and shifting my heart is still kind of doing something weird so thank you so much for watching guys look out for this new person coming in they're going to be absolutely amazing definitely a past life relationship i hope you have a lovely day if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you soon bye bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading i feel like for you guys the number four is very significant as well because we just had like a lot of fours on the the timing of this video so that's amazing so look out for the number four Okay, so we have rhodochrosite. So this says when your heart hurts, you can feel all the feels, even the most painful and still be gentle with yourself. Let rhodochrosite remind you that this too shall pass and you, especially you, absolutely will heal and love again when you're ready. Soften your heart. So this is for anyone who's grieving or really needing to grieve, a major loss, a relationship expired or an outdated idea of the self. So this could be various different things. I feel like for you guys, it's going to resonate with all of you differently. So for you guys, just really working on kind of shifting out the old and bringing in the new. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you I feel like for most of you, it's going to be grieving the old self. I think for a lot of you, you're ready for somebody new, but you are still grieving your old energy. And sometimes you feel like you've, let, you've missed out or you've been left out in relationships. And, and now it's time for you to really bring in a, a beautiful connection that's right for you because you've done the work and the healing okay so next card we have oh beautiful i love when this card comes out i love i love a bit of timing so we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now 
So for you guys, it's kind of like stepping into the unknown. Um, obviously in love, you do step into the unknown and you are needing to trust yourself. And for this, it's showing me that you guys have been burned a lot in love and you've kind of really worried about things that have really changed your energy. You've had people in your life that have been very controlling. And this time, you're going to manifest somebody who is you, who is for you. Someone who's just for you, for no one else. And it feels like the ultimate pairing. I'm hearing um, dolly mixtures. So if you guys know what dolly mixtures are, they're basically like just these sweets that are like mixed up. Do you know what? I really fancy them now. <laughs> um, but they're really pastel coloured and light and cute. And I feel like this, this person, because I'm getting like dolly mixtures like, like sweets, it's reminding me of a connection that's just very young and sweet and and childlike and this person's going to bring you into a very childlike state and make you feel really comfortable with who you are i'm getting a usa uk connection so for you guys that could be synchronicity for any of you guys uh dealing with a long-term partner okay once was innocent okay so this says knowledge means change yeah exactly you have got a lot of outdated beliefs now and you've changed into this really powerful being. And you're powerful before, I think you just didn't really recognize that. And two and eight is obviously 10. So a massive old cycle ending, massive new one coming in. And you're starting to possibly feel a little bit lonely because you've had to let go of some people who don't no longer serve you. But that's okay because it means that you can have time to experience yourself by yourself without any kind of interference with any old gross energies from people who are just really not honoring you. And also there's a space to fill from somebody who is gonna be brand new and mature and amazing. I'm hearing somebody who, I'm hearing a dad. So maybe you have uh, been wanting a partner who could be a father to your children um, or have children with somebody, but I'm also picking up that you're dealing with um, father issues and you're dealing with kind of like breaking free of an old pattern to do with your dad. So that's kind of what I'm just picking up on. Um, so we have courage. You're being tested. Have faith and stand in your truth. So if you guys, you could be feeling really tested right now in your love life, feeling really kind of like, okay, well, when is it going to happen? And I have this really bad cramp in my foot right now. So you guys could be getting a really bad cramp. And where it is, it's kind of around, if any of you guys know what reflexology is, it's kind of like if you touch a certain point on your foot, it affects that organ in the body. And where I'm getting it is around the, where is this? It's about the stomach area. I'm hearing colon. So it could be around the colon in the body. Um, and that's kind of to do with clearing out, I feel. So it could be through the kidneys as well. You're kind of just clearing old energy. A lot of you guys could be doing a sugar detox as well and drinking a lot of water would really help you guys. So have courage. This is this is changing. For you guys, you could be really dealing with a lot of family toxicity that you're having to really release because possibly you're not like your family. And a lot of us, especially you guys are watching this video, you're most likely not like your family. A lot of us are not like our family, especially with us being so spiritual. I mean, we sometimes have the odd two or three people who we're very close to, but most of the time, obviously I'm not saying, if you guys have a very close family, that's amazing. For those of you who don't have a very close family or struggle to kind of find people on your wavelength, I totally, totally get you. I've been there, it is very, very difficult, but it is the best thing for you because at the end of the day, you can forge your own path and you can find out what makes you feel good. And there's no kind of comparison because it's all about you and what your needs are. And you can get inspired, but don't compare yourself to others in their journey. Just stand in your truth. Beautiful. So for you guys, we have a lot of problems being resolved. There has been a repeating cycle and possibly I'm just hearing. OK, what's the word? Universe, give me the word. It's kind of like. I'm hearing unacknowledgement. What's the word? A program. Thank you. You've been running the same program for quite a long time and now you're starting to break free from the program. It's kind of like you're having to have courage to break free from that. But it's okay, guys. Like you are manifesting somebody who really honors your emotions. So this is going to be somebody you're going to realize how bad your previous partners were or not like shading them or anything, but it's kind of acknowledging that possibly you weren't honoring your own emotions where obviously we're all doing our best guys we really are all doing our best but there's a part of you that really needs, is really releasing that so you guys become much more psychic because you're releasing toxic energy so you're leaving space so you can really manifest somebody and you can see somebody i feel like for a lot of you guys you're actually picking up spiritually on this person and with the third eye and the throat chakra it's showing me that you guys are definitely seeing things more clearly and you're being able to really voice your opinion to people who maybe you weren't able to voice your opinion to before there we go, secrets. Yeah, this is 12th house. So that's releasing anything that's old and outdated. We have Pisces, so you can manifesting somebody who's a Pisces. 
We also have Aries, so it could be an Aries as well. And we have last quarter, I love that. So in the book here, it says last quarter represents release, letting go, beautiful. Letting go of the habits and negative patterns that hold you back, forgive yourself and cleanse. You guys are so ready for somebody new, okay? You guys have been feeling really agitated and impatient. And the 12th house is all about that energy of Pisces. It rules kind of dreams and the subconscious. And you guys are really digging deep in your subconscious. You could be doing a lot like inner child work. You could be doing um, a lot of kind of subconscious work, a lot of dealing with kind of negative patterns. Um, and if you're releasing people who don't serve you and if people are really kind of messing you around recently and you're thinking, why is everyone so angry with me? Or why is everyone so annoying? <laughs> Literally me, why is everyone so annoying? I'm joking guys, why there, you're like, why is everyone so annoying or being so agitated around me? And sometimes it can be so you, you can get triggered, so you can release whatever it needs to, you need to release, so you can manifest this, which is stunning. Absolutely stunning, I love that, wow. If you guys have seen you guys walking across a desert. So also, okay, two messages, first of all, 12th house, first house. Aries is the first house, Pisces is the 12th, I'm pretty sure. And you guys are walking through a desert, I'm seeing. And a lot of the time when I see walking through a desert, this is kind of like you've dealt with a lot of heat, you've dealt with a lot of really uncomfortable situations that really do not serve you. And you've had to deal with a lot of intensity and drama and you're possibly used to that. So maybe you've had a lot of relationships that have really messed you around and then when you get into this new relationship you're going to be like wow this is what there's like no drama what's what am I doing wrong and actually it's because you're used to the drama that's why it's kind of like feeling a little bit weird <laughs> that is just a message for you okay guys and no longer walking through the desert you are now finding your oasis you are fine and it's not an illusion you're finding your oasis you're coming out of that dryness you're coming into more abundance more nourishment more I'm seeing more plants and more like greenery so that is what's happening perfect yep brand new cycle coming in for you guys you are manifesting somebody who is really on your wavelength just i'm hearing new blessings so you guys could be feeling quite internal at the moment but it's because you're starting this new uh, venture so you're thinking okay why am i feeling so sensitive why am i feeling so vulnerable and it's because you are starting to really engage from your core i'm hearing engage from your solar plexus and this is you honoring your feelings and being much more confident with who you are as a person and you're not letting people walk on you or tell you what to do and for you guys you could be really releasing an old job as well it could be part of this journey that you're on um and i feel like it's just a really strong energy for you okay oh we had the five of pentacles i love that so I don't normally like the Five of Pentacles, but today I do. So why do we love the Five of Pentacles here? Because you're acknowledging the past, but not in a very spiteful way. It's kind of like you are releasing it and saying goodbye to it. And you're like, bye-bye. <laughs> no harm, no foul. <laughs> okay, beautiful, the lovers. Yeah, exactly, guys. You guys are really able to manifest somebody now. And you're really letting go of what no longer serves you, okay? Here is some of you guys might meet your person at the pub. And it's like a cozy pub. I'm seeing like a country, a country pub. Okay, so we have the three of pentacles underneath the deck. We have the two of wands. So you guys could be meeting somebody from quite far away, but also you could get a message from somebody who is foreign, aka from a different country to where you are right now. Somebody who is foreign to you as well. I'm hearing foreign. I'm hearing the song. Um, okay, what's the song called? An English man in New York, um, and it's about, uh, it's a song from Sting, is it Sting or The Police? I'm not sure, but basically it's a really good song. Um, just listen to that guys, it's basically kind of feeling like an alien in a normal world, so that's kind of what I'm hearing. It's like, you guys are feeling quite nervous about who you are, and you're kind of like, why do I feel so weird? But it's, it's okay, like it's going to shift for you, and you're going to feel much more comfortable and confident with who you are. It's just you're, you're, you're basically when it's kind of like when you have a wound and you are, have the skin and it's like you kind of have to like rip this, the scab away, gets ripped away or kind of like it starts, to, it has to basically, old has to go away so you can heal this new wound. And basically when, when the wound is exposed, it feels vulnerable, you know, and it has to cover up as soon as possible so it doesn't get, you know, any more infection or anything in there. 
that's what I'm feeling. If you guys are feeling very vulnerable, but it's because you're starting a brand new cycle and you're learning who you are through this energy, okay? Number 25 is very important for you guys. And I'm also seeing some of you guys are at a roast dinner and that's how you meet your person as well. So it could be like a family situation. It could be a birthday, some sort of family event that's really shifting your energy. Let your friends help you. Could be meeting people through friendships. Okay, beautiful. Okay, underneath the deck we have, ooh, you're the first group to have this. Call it in your soulmate. Yes, queen. Yes, frigging queens. Frigging queens and kings. <laughs> By the way, if you're a male watching this, I'm going to call you a queen anyway because that's just how I roll. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> just how I roll. All right, so next one we have is unrequited love. Yep, no more of that. Bye-bye. No one likes you. Bye-bye. Okay, <laughs> finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life and then it's safe for you to love. So I feel like this is kind of like the three stages, figuring out this person isn't right for you or figuring out who is right for you, um, releasing an old job or releasing any old kind of uh, beliefs about a job and then feeling much more comfortable in it and then feeling like you are able to love and then meeting your soulmate, okay? It could be through friends or they could be a friend first and that's how you meet them, could be through career as well. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, or you'd like to look at my crystal shop, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.